right so we have discussed purchasing cycle uh, in today's lecture we will be discussing two major points uh, characteristics of features of a purchasing manager and what kind of risk do a purchasing manager bear when he go and procure some kind of material or services right so uh, let's discuss of characteristics of a purchasing manager so if you are performing as a purchasing manager then you require to uh, possess some kind of features or characteristics to perform your duty well so these are the certain list uh, which a common purchasing manager should have as their skill set or features to be a purchasing manager the first factor which should be uh, as a feature of purchasing manager is organization now when we are talking about organization organization means uh, a purchasing manager need to be very much organized because the purchasing manager has to coordinate with various departments in various parties until unless a purchasing manager is organized he cannot perform that activity very well since you are a purchasing manager you have to coordinate with lots of department those who are sending purchase requisition to you then you have to contact to the supplier as per the requirement since you are dealing with the purchasing of entire company and company require lots of consumables and materials so they may be requiring stationery they may be requiring raw material for their production they may be requiring fuel so a uh, company require lots of material lots of consumables lots of spare parts you require some uh, services of technical uh, experts uh, to correct your machinery you require services of some consultant to advise regarding factory zag getting point so you need to you need to coordinate with various departments and uh, you need to acquire lots various kinds of goods and services for the organization and you don't find any single supplier who going to supply uh, all the goods and services at one room so what the purchasing manager has to do he has to coordinate and contact various suppliers various suppliers of goods and services right so until and unless a purchasing manager is very much organized he cannot uh, manage all these activities in a appropriate manner so first first basic feature for a purchasing manager is to be very much organized he need to know to whom to contact when to contact for particular for acquiring particular goods and services so being an organized one is a basic elementary feature of any purchasing manager second feature which a purchasing manager should have is a knowledge of government regulations so why knowledge of government regulations do a purchasing manager require uh, does it make any kind of sense uh, if one don't have, have any kind of government regulation knowledge how come it impact the performance of a purchasing manager uh, since when we are going and manufacturing uh, lots of goods and services and uh, a uh, government have uh, certain rules and regulations that uh, certain raw material uh, should a uh, uh, specific kind of raw material can be only utilized like if uh, um, like i'm going to give you an example uh, if you want to uh, like in us in us uh, they are having a specific requirement if a product uh, contain chlorine okay so if a product having a quantity of chlorine uh, in their uh, in the product so they don't allow that particular product to be transported into us so when a purchasing manager uh, going to acquire a, or to procure a product so they need to confirm it as per the government regulation that chlorine is not present in the product if chlorine is there in the product so they cannot purchase it because government don't allow to purchase a product which has chlorine in it in the same sense uh, when you are performing as a purchasing manager you need to be very much aware of what government has prescribed what composition of material that can be utilized in manufacturing 
what are the products or chemicals that has been restricted by the government and you need to make sure that all those kinds of material all those kinds of chemicals are not utilized in manufacturing process is this clear you are into suppose you are into manufacturing of some product which contains cotton and if you manufactured 100% cotton product so government going to give you subsidy so being a procurement manager you need to make sure ki if i am going to manufacture product of 100% cotton so if i am acquiring more cotton and the uh, company is going to get kind of subsidy from the government so that something something going to help by now organization getting point so in the same manner uh, there are lots of government regulations right uh, you need to comply with the factories act compliances so to make sure that the company is uh, complying with the factory act compliances so i am having a appropriate consultant those who guides our company or the professionals of the company to how to make sure that all the provisions of the factories are been complied with right so you need to contact and consult and those who come and guide you so for that you need to know a government regulation so knowledge of government regulations is very much when you are going and working as a purchasing manager right so same friend uh, like in recent time when i am purchasing something uh gst is applied when you i am going to pay gst or agar mai goods uh, acquire kar if i am acquiring goods uh, it's coming from other state or other district then e way bill is required then e way bill should be there an appropriate e way bill should be there e way bill make sure that the what quantity what quality and what amount of goods are been transported from one district to another district or from one state to another state right so government regulation knowledge of government regulation that e way bill is there appropriate e way bill is there it is been generated within 24 hours all those rules and regulations should be complied so purchasing manager make sure that all those things are there if suppose e way bill is not there or distorted e way bill is there or e way bill is generated before 24 hours from the dispatch of the goods so what going to happen you have to make penalty you have to pay penalty since someone is going to stop your vehicle and asks to give reason why e way bill has been generated before 24 hours of dispatch of the goods right so when you are aware of that this is something that you need to comply with so the purchasing become very easy next feature a uh, purchasing manager should have is knowledge of various materials right so you must require you require uh, lots of material for your manufacturing since i'm giving you an example of textile if you want to manufacture sports wear so there are lots of textile is there indian manufactured textile is there china manufactured textile is there some kind of textile is being manufactured in bangladesh also right so knowledge of material ki what material can be utilized for what for what particular purpose so that something is very much essential right so you purchase a manager uh, need to know about the material uh, in what kind of uh, it depends on the types of industry they are dealing with or they want to work with if you are working in a home furnishing and if you are into home furnishing then you must be very much aware of lots of wool cotton uh, nylon uh, that's uh, wood uh, leather so Uh, material knowledge is very much essential if you don't have the knowledge of material uh, uh, the company is manufacturing so what can be the case uh, you must be acquiring some product which is of of not of up to the mark uh, or raw material is not appropriate for manufacturing of the goods so there are chances that the product you acquire may not comply with the existing requirement so knowledge of various various materials chasing manager is it is it in a position that he can take undue advantage of various contacts with the supplier isn't it so he can generate economic profit out of it he can make some undue advantage uh, the advantage which should be ultimately delivered to the organization but it cannot be delivered to the organization since the purchasing manager is someone who is getting that benefit 
so it takes make sure that all the benefits uh is been actually delivered to the company so no mediator is there no purchase manager is there no office assistant or purchase manager is there who is driving any kind of undue advantage or benefit out of deal with the suppliers so it takes plays an important role to be a very uh, professional purchasing manager you need to make sure that you comply with the ethics theek hai aisa nahi hai ki are supplier ke sath contract kiya isme 10% cut me raha hai clear ho rahi hai baat theek hai to ethics kya hai 10% cut aapka yani ki wo jo 10% ka discount de raha hai company ko wo nahi de raha hai 10% ka commission aapko de de raha hai kyunki aap order de rahe so what it says uh, purchasing manager should follow ethics till its initiatives uh every purchasing manager must ensure that he takes initiative initiative to maintain relationship with the supplier getting point initiative to manage and have a proper system in the organization so that the procurement process goes on smoothly so it is a part of purchasing manager to take initiative regarding various activities that relates to the procurement so maintaining relationship with the supplier and having a system in the organization developing that system in the organization each and everything should be uh, uh, initiated by the purchasing manager so that is one of the feature of purchasing manager clear eh uh next feature we have as trading trading or negotiation we can have word negotiation over here also so it is a basic feature of purchasing manager to be a good negotiator right so if you are going and purchasing and if you cannot negotiate if you cannot negotiate uh that means uh, uh you are not a good purchasing manager to be a good purchasing manager you need to be a very good negotiator i can quote you one example i have experienced how the negotiation happens how you get benefit out of negotiation uh i was uh, uh like i worked in a export house so there was a purchasing manager and there was a international supplier that came to our factory now that uh, international supplier is having uh, we are going to buy lots of things uh from the international buyer to so suppose something we are going to buy it in uh 100 units uh, it i don't know exactly the exact quantity what we are going to buy so suppose we are buying product a of 100 units product b 200 units product 3 500 units right so suppose we are buying three types of raw material from our supplier and product a 100 units product b 200 units and product 3 500 units product a ka price uh, suppose supplier quoted a price for product a 100 rupees per unit you said it okay he quoted 150 rupees for uh, product b you said it okay he quoted 200 rupee for the price of uh, product c you said no 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 this is too much you need to offer me some kind of discount i have not asked a single rupee of discount for first two commodities in case of commodity 3 you have to offer me a discount of 30% getting point so he asked for the discount of 30% and uh, since the supplier is bound to do so because you have not asked a single rupee discount for first two units so you immediately get a discount of 60 rupee per unit and 60 into 500 units so you are say you are doing a lots of saying for the organization but if you have asked discount for the first a and b unit which is 100 and 150 so you don't make a big profit since the quantity you are purchasing is very low and uh, the price of the commodity is very low so the ultimate the discount you will be getting is not of enough amount so what you did you an- analyzed and you make sure that product c is good in quantity and the price of the product c is higher in comparison to first two commodities if i go and ask 
for a discount for the last commodity and don't ask for any kind of discount for the first two commodities then in that situation the organization will be in profit so you need to make sure that you do you are a good negotiator is this clear constant updating uh, it's very essential part for a purchasing manager he need to constantly update himself regarding various uh, changes happening uh, in the environment so constant updating purchasing manager need to update about various rules and regulations what new technology is coming what new material is in to market how to utilize it who is the new supplier in the market what price are available what price are charging what is the updation in the price uh, what government regulations has changed how come that regulation has reduced the cost of the material or increased the cost of the material how to tackle it so you have to deal with lots of lots of conditions and for dealing with that lots of condition you need to be very much updated until unless you are updated you cannot deal with all those conditions so being a purchasing manager you need to be very much aware of what happening near about near around you getting point so what regulations and how that what change in regulation is happening how come that change in regulation is going to benefit your organization and how you are going to take advantage out of it all those things need to be taken care of so that is these are the features of a purchasing manager